Hey everybody, this is Ed with Ed Finds Treasure. So the same box I did last night, or a couple nights ago actually, is uh, stamp 7093. Got them from the same bank. I got two at the same time on Friday. Here it is Sunday. I'm going to open the second one. And I think it was actually a third one that I opened last week. So hopefully we'll find some more buffalo and V-nickels and some more nickel which I found uh, yesterday. So the trifecta would be great. We'll just keep looking. Let's see if we have any enders here. Several rolls that had buffalo nickel and this maybe we'll have a uh, buffalo nickel or something out here, but I don't see anything. There's definitely a dark one here, but I don't think it's a war nickel. Looks awfully old, but it, so it might not be. All right, we'll keep digging. Okay, this is not the buffalo ender I was hoping for. I did buy a big buffalo nickel, <laughs> 1913. But maybe we'll find one. I haven't lift. I haven't turned them all over yet. Got um, eight almost done. Forty-two to go. Hey, this is Ed with Ed Finds Treasure. I guess I'm on roll 22. And I haven't really been finding much. Um, I think I found a 47, 54. A really messed up uh, newer nickel, maybe. But I just opened up this roll, and there's definitely a, a buffalo. All right, let's see. Well, I did not expect a date, but I think there is. Uh, no, no, it's even got the ring of death on it. Wow. Yeah. No date that I can decipher. Come on. Wow. Looks like an S mint mark, though, or a D mint mark. Looks more like a D. Cool. All right. Definitely. Well, it's not a 13. No, it's not a raised raise mound. And there's a 1940. All right. Maybe the rest of this roll, these rolls, will have some older ones here. Not just some fakers. All right. Keep looking. I'm on uh, roll, what, 36, 35, uh, 37, 36, and I just happened to see an older looking one here, some false ones over there, but it's not a buffalo, hello, what, 1945, that would be silver, huh, Denver, mint mark, 45, so that's the second silver. I have found in the last few boxes. Still have 13 rolls left. So, roll 37 came up with silver. Yay! Okay, I'm on roll hmm, 38, 39. And look at that. You can just see the top of the buffalo nickel. Oh, it looks like there might be a date. Barely, 1920. Hello. You were just there. Uh, 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 uh. Really hard to tell. 1920-something. Looks like Philadelphia. Wow. Rough shape, but not bad to find a, a little bit of date. I'm going to take a look closer, see if I can find what this is. Well, it's got to it's gotta be a 4. It looks like a 4. 1924. 
Philly. That's the oldest date I've found coin roll hunting. I've found at least, what, three or four buffalo nickels now in these last three boxes. Or two boxes. No, it was three. All right, so I still got 11 more rolls to go. We're going to have two silvers for this box. Definitely a Philadelphia silver eagle or silver nickel. What year? 45. I think that's what we had before. 45 Denver, maybe. Come on. 45 Denver and a 45 Philly. It's in rougher shape, but definitely silver. Hmm. All right, perfect. Two silvers, 64. And the last roll is the uh, Lewis and Clark commemorative nickel on both sides. Ocean in view, oh the joy. From ocean to ocean. Let's see if it's, what's else, what is inside, okay? Hey, this is Ed Fine's Treasure. In the last three boxes of nickels, I've had quite a score. 1907 V nickel, 1910 V nickel, and the V nickel from 1911. So three different years. And they're not in bad shape. Now these are in bad shape, but I never have found a buffalo nickel before these three boxes. I believe I got the one no date. And then this one is probably a no date also. Buffalo. And this one just barely uh, makes out as a 1916. Uh, if I get it in the right light, I can see the 19 and then the 1 6. Yep. I don't know if you can see that or not. And this one was a difficult at first, but the last box I got uh, two buffaloes. Hello. It's in 1924. There it is. 1924. Philly. I think they're all Philly. Yep. Uh, no mint mark. Oh yeah, this first one. Cannot see the date, but it does have a Denver mint mark. Can barely see that. And um, I have found two um, war nickels in the past, but here's a 1944 Philly, and two 1945s, a Denver and a Philadelphia. So three war nickels, three V nickels, four Buffalo in three boxes. That's just amazing. I think I'm going to get some more boxes from that bank.